Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Pestilence, Malevis Macarum, debut alongside their demos, uh, Dysentery from 1987 and Penance from 1988. This is on Displeased Records out of Holland, licensed from Roadrunner. Awesome, awesome stuff. And... Martin's vocals on here are just absolutely amazing. So, I'd like to talk about Aphex Incoming Death. Speaking of Martin, his vocals just still fucking kick ass, and you can just tell it's him on vocals. Like, after leaving Hail of Bullets. I mean, you can't really go wrong when you have Martin in charge of vocals. And like, the bonus tracks on Incoming Death, you have a winter cover and a master cover, and they are just fucking magnificent. This is one of those digipacks that's so fucking sick. Musically, artistically, just the whole entire layout, band photos, everything about this is grade A death metal. I fucking love this release. One of the best records of last year as well. Just absolutely crushing awesome death doom. Like, it's the way fucking shit's meant to be played. Check out, like, Death the Brutal Way. Last one on Earth, like, Aphex just always fucking bring the heaviness. And Incoming Death just, wow, what a good fucking record. Death the Brutal Way, literally. This is so goddamn good. And you have the Death Doom Division with Martin Van Droren on vocals. Alwyn Zur on bass, Paul Bayens on guitar, and Steve Stefan Huskins on drums. There's the dudes thrashing. I love how Mar <laughs> Marty Martin's like, oh, I'm the grandfather of the band. I have gray hair. It's like, who the fuck cares? You're one of the best fucking frontmen in death metal history. Like, your vocals are amazing. And. This is an amazing fucking release. Seriously, so goddamn good. Every single track is just absolutely knuckle-draggingly fucking heavy. Awesome death metal right here with just that heavy doom influence as well. Which is why this is one of the heaviest records of 2016. Just... Total Death Doom. I love it. Just like I love Early Pestilence. This is so fucking good. I mean, it's no consuming impulse, but this is still amazing stuff right here. But two different projects, so let's not, you know... Let's, let's not compare the two too much different types of music this is more you know fucking slower heavier and just fucking brutal everything you love about fucking death metal just kind of slow it down make it way heavier and throw in one of the best vocalists in the game and you have incoming death by sfx like wow just absolutely fucking wow and you have 10 tracks, pretty sure it's 10 original, and then 2, yeah. Oh wait, 11 original, and 2 cover tracks, I apologize on the Digi version. But, um, yeah, this is just amazing. Some of the best tracks on here, oh man. War Droid, The Feeder, The Grand Denial, Incoming Death, Wildland Fire, and Death the Only Immortal probably are my favorite tracks on here. Amazing release. One of my favorites by theirs as well. Like for the longest time it was last uh, one on Earth. 
I think that's what it's called. I honestly forget off the top of my head, but Death the Brutal Way is what got me listening to effects. Like, I was just so blown away at that time period when I first heard it, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, this band's been around for a long time. I didn't know about it. And then I started digging into the back catalog, and I just, you know... As soon as I fucking, like, heard um, Last One on Earth, or whatever, I just was like, wow, this is fucking amazing. This is some of the heaviest death metal I ever fucking heard. At that point in time, I forget what year it was, but, uh... It was just, it blew me away, and I'm sorry if I'm saying the name of that album wrong. My, my, my mind is kind of, you know, running a blank on the actual record title. I just know it's like, last one on, I'm pretty sure it's last one on Earth, who the fuck cares. But, as soon as I heard that, I, Aphex pretty much, like, overnight became one of my favorite fucking death metal bands, like... I just, I remember I got a CD copy of Death the Brutal Way, and just played that thing to death, literally, like, it was so fucking good, and I was coming off a giant incantation bender during that time period, so, like, it just, that heavy style of death metal really was resonating with me in such a good way. And I really need this on vinyl because the artwork, like I said, this is amazing stuff here. I wonder if the vinyl version has the bonus tracks because the winter cover on here is absolutely so goddamn heavy and so is the master cover. It's just badass and they just cover Master Master where they do Servants of the Warsmen by Winter. Amazing fucking stuff right here, seriously. Aphex, Acefix, Incoming Death on Century Media Records. This is some of the best death metal from last year. Like, seriously, outside of Blood Incantation, Star Spawn, Crips, Remnants of Expansion. Like, this is right up there. Great, great stuff from 2016. And one of those bands that just fucking slay in every way fucking possible. I just, I love this stuff so goddamn much. And they do it just, oh man, it's everything like I would want my band to sound like if I had a new project pretty much. Except for I have a little more weird experimental shit in my mind that I want to get recorded but I kind of just love that simplistic like death doom sound like but I want to make it a little more crusty sounding and a little more blackened when it comes to my own project but when it comes to incoming death th this is pretty much I can't think of a bad track on here the production's great, the riffs are great, the vocals are amazing. Just absolutely a crushing, crushing death metal, death doom release. And just legendary lineup and, again, some of the best vocals in death metal history. And just, yeah, I don't really know what else to say besides get the fuck into this record. Acefex, Incoming Death, on Century Media Records. So they're getting a paycheck, which is sick, because they fucking deserve it. This is one of those death metal bands that just kick fucking ass and really need to get over to the States a little more. I really think doing a headlining tour, bringing along certain other bands would just be amazing. But... Fingers fucking crossed. I mean, I'm sure... I, did, I forget what year they played Maryland Death Fest, actually. It might have been last year. I, I forget, but... I want an actual tour, though. Because like, I can imagine just who the openers would be. It's one of those things, like, you want to make up, like, a dream fucking lineup, you know? But... 
Ace Fex, Incoming Death. This is so fucking good. If you're a fan of Death Doom, or just death heavy fucking death metal in general, and if you're a fan of Martin Van Duren's vocals, you have no excuse not to check out this fucking monster of a release. I really need to snag this on wax, but this is getting a 9 out of 10. I really, really love this album, and I just need to get it on fucking vinyl, just so I can blast the fuck out of it until I get a new CD player set up. It can't really go above, like, 45 where it starts fucking up, like... It will even start skipping my CDs if I play it too fucking loud, so... Boo to CDs, but fuck yeah to the material. Seriously, how good is analog? Like, if I had a car, I'd be stoked to have a bunch of CDs, but I don't have my own car anymore. I have to borrow other people's cars, which is, yeah, it's cool to listen to, like, albums in, like, my aunt's car, because she has a cassette deck, so I can listen to my cassettes in there since I've yet to pick up a new tape player, but I need to pick up a nice CD cassette player, hook it up to the record player, and there we go, because I have some six speakers for my record player, and I would love to be able to listen to everything on those speakers, but anyway, Ace Fex, Incoming Death, 9 out of 10, just absolutely devastating, Death Doom, I love this shit, and yeah, like I said, you have Martin Van Druren on vocals, like from fucking Early Pestilence, awesome, awesome stuff, and we've been listening to Pestilence, Malevolus Macarum, such a fucking good debut. I know this is available on vinyl now on Hammerheart. And so is um, Consuming Impulse and I think Spheres as well. All those records are worth checking out. And um, yeah, we've been listening to some fucking early Pestilence. Again, I cannot recommend this enough. It comes with the fucking demos. And so does the vinyl version as well. The vinyl version has 17 tracks. So anytime you get something like that, fuck yeah. Pestilence, Levelist, Macarum, just an amazing album. And you have the same vocalist, Martin Van Droren, and that's why I played this in the background. And also because it fucking rules! But, uh, yeah. Acefix, Incoming Death, get into it, you guys will love it, trust me, Death Doom Division, killer, killer, fucking heavy tunes, amazing artwork on Century Media Records, check it out, links will be below, keep it fucking do <laughs> keep it fucking brutal, and uh, thanks for the support, as always, keep watching, stay death. Hells.